squirrel tail. Today we're gonna I'm talking I'm gonna be shooting the um Lee Enfield number four mark one. This is a World War II rifle that um was based off of the SMLE rifles that you'll see in a lot of World War One movies. Um, very similar. It was designed by an American um, Lee. I, I forget his first name, but it was actually designed by an American um, now this is sim very similar to the World War One SMLE rifles. The big difference is that those rifles have a V-notch sight up here, and they have a different. The bayonet's different. It has a lug here, and it takes a traditional blade bayonet compared to the simple spike bayonet, uh, which mounts on. A lug on the side of the barrel. Um, now, a few notable features of this rifle is 10 round magazine. Most rifles at the time only had 5 rounds and it is a detachable magazine, as you can see here, but they were never issued with multiple magazines. This would just be used to take out for cleaning. I think the original, original Lee rifle was, did have a second magazine, but the design kind of carried over, but they were issued with five round stripper clips I'll have a picture of in the video and you would load it put two of those stripper clips in you're good to go now there's there now this one it's probably made in around 41 that's when these kind of came out and it has a really nice graduated sight um as you can see you have flip down, then you guys have a real big peep sight for quick shots, you know, a battle sight. But then if you need it to be more precise, you have a fine peep with a micrometer to adjust it for different ranges. Now, that was early on. Quickly, they realized that this was, you know, they needed to do some things to make it simpler. So they went with a more simple flip up to position sight. Where instead you just, this one would be your battle site and then you'd have one that might be a little smaller for longer range. So, this has that peep site. And, the most interesting thing I think about the, now this is the Lee Rifles in general, is it has a really weird bolt. Now, com a lot of, most of your other World War I, World War II rifles have in some way a Mauser style bolt even like the Mosins with two lugs in the front and then you have turn at 90 degrees so you have a 90 degree um, throat this does not have that this bolt locks in the rear with this lug in the bottom right here and that locks in and that's what keeps your gun from going back and the advantage of this design is that you only have a 60 degree throw or you only have a 60 degree bolt throw so as you can see, I'm only turning. When I close that bolt, 
instead of going a whole 90 degrees, I'm only going a third of a turn. And doing some dry firing. They said that that made it faster. Um, you know, that was their logic. On the downside, I this is not good for higher pressure cartridges. 303 is a, a semi-mild cartridge. So, you know, you probably, if you want to go with something like 8mm or 30-06, I don't know if it would handle the pressure, but I could be wrong there. But you do only have one lug, and it is in the rear. Um, but these guns were used... I mean, the basic design was used... Of the SMLE Lee rifles were used from... Um, the early 1800s through the... Um... 1950s, so they had like 60 years in you know service life. So pretty neat rifles. Okay, so this one of what I can see was is made around 1941, so it's an early one, which is kind of neat. So now, hope you enjoy watching me shoot it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe for more great content, and check out our Instagram page at, at Squirrel Tail Show.